Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course to learn how to assign properties to structural elements in the RAM Structural System Modeler. Over the next series of videos, you will learn how to assign properties to structural members and walls to satisfy a variety of unique building configurations and to control the design properties for individual members. In this video, we'll use the Modify Elevation command to modify the elevations for columns and walls. When a column is initially modeled, the top of the column is automatically set to the story level and any beams framing into that column are assumed to frame in at that level as well. When the Modify Elevation command is used for columns, you can use this to create sloping beams by changing the elevation of the top of the columns. In the RAM modeler, we will now modify the column elevations for all of the columns at the roof level along grid lines 5 and 1. Before we do this, let's take a quick look at the 3D view of the structure by clicking on the 3D view icon in the modeler. Here I can see that all of the columns have been modeled at the story elevation at this level. To return to the RAM modeler, I will select File, Exit, and now I'll modify these elevations. These are steel columns, so I must first select my steel material. I am on the roof level, and to change any column elevation, I must first start by selecting the Layout Column icon from the Layout Toolbar. Once this icon is selected, some additional tools will become available to modify your column properties. To change my column elevation, I will click on the Elevation icon and then enter my parameters. These are standard base supported columns and I'm going to lower them by 10 feet. Once entering in all of my parameters, I will go ahead and click on the Fence button and then draw a fence around all of the columns along grid lines 5 and along grid line 1. I'm going to follow this up by saving my model. And then let's return to the 3D view to see the effect. Here I can see that I was now able to create more of a pitched roofing plan using that Modify Column Elevation tool. Similarly, when a wall is initially modeled, the top of the wall will also be assumed to be at the story level, and any beams or slabs framing into that wall will be assumed to frame in at that level. The Modify Elevation command for walls can also be used to create sloping framing by changing the elevation of the top of the wall. As we return to the RAM modeler, we must again first select the appropriate material and layout. This time we're going to be modifying our concrete walls at the first floor layout. So I'm going to select the first floor layout from the layout pull down menu and I'm going to select the concrete material. Now to arrive at the layout wall mode, I'm going to select the layout wall icon from the layout toolbar. Once I do this, I have some additional tools to assign properties to concrete walls and I'm going to select the Elevation icon. In the Modify Wall Elevations dialog box, I will select to lower a wall elevation by 10 feet. And then I'm going to use the Single button. The Single button will allow me to lower one end of the wall at a time. I'm going to go ahead and click Single, and then I need to select the wall I wish to modify. I'm going to click on the wall along grid line 1 between grid lines A and C. Once I do this, you notice that my cursor has changed, and now I must select the end of the wall to lower by that 10 feet. And I'm going to click on grid intersection A1. I'm going to repeat this process still in the same command by selecting the wall along grid line 2. And then I'm going to click on A2. I'm going to repeat this process for the wall along grid line 4. 
and for the wall along grid line 5. I'm then going to save my model and let's return to our 3D view to see the effects of this command. Here I can see that the left end of each of those walls was lowered by 10 feet. Once you are finished reviewing your structure, I can go File, Exit, and return to the RAM Modeler. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.